Made up musical instruments. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we will be playing musical instruments. Hooray! <laughs> I'm going to play the tambourine. I'm going to play the recorder. I'm going to play the triangle. <laughs> we are not playing those musical instruments today. What? We will make our own musical instruments. But we can't make musical instruments. We're children. I am not asking you to make a piano or a trumpet, Peppa. We will be making musical instruments from all of these bits and bobs. Bottles and rubber bands. <laughs> Balloons and yoghurt pots. Music can be made from anything that makes a sound. Ah! How do you usually make sound with a musical instrument? You hit it with a stick. You blow into it like this. <coughs> or you shake it. <laughs> yes! Now, let's see what sounds you can make from these things. The children are going to make musical instruments. This box sounds like a drum. Oh, this is not a very good drum. Ah, but what happens if you add rubber bands? No, it's the same. Try plucking those rubber bands instead of hitting the box. Oh, it's not a drum at all. It's a twanger. <laughs> Susie has some bottles. These make a sound if you tap them with a pencil. Yes, and if I put different amounts of water into the bottles... Now try it. The water makes the bottle sound different. That's right, Susie. You can also blow across the bottle tops to get a sound. <laughs> You're making music. Wow! George has a bucket. Oh! Blowing on the bucket does not make music. Let's put some water in your bucket, George. <laughs> Here is a straw. <gasps> George is making bubbly music. I'm going to make music with a shaker, some beans and marbles. There! Oh, wonderful shaking music, Peppa. It goes very well with George's bubble music. <laughs> Freddy Fox has a balloon. Funny, Freddy. What instrument will you make, Madame Gazelle? This is my favourite made-up musical instrument. Madame Gazelle has a musical instrument made out of drinking glasses. Do you blow them like my bottles? No. Do you hit them with a stick? No. Do you shake them? No. I play them with my fingers. Wow! Hello. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Oh, you are just in time to listen to our made-up musical orchestra. It's made out of bits and bobs. Ooh. Ooh! Children, I will start and then you join in. The parents like made-up musical instruments. Everybody likes made-up musical instruments. Breakfast club. Pepper and her friends are going to play group earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to play group early today? 
isn't because we didn't learn enough things yesterday. No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to playgroup early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh. And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast! So do I! Me too! Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast! And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up! So we can do lots of talking! Talk, 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 talk! Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice! Yes, Pedro, and breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day! Uh, what is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity! That's right, Edmund! <laughs> <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> It can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you! OK, the bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hopla! Ooh! Caught it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm ready. Ready. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> everyone has caught their toast. Again! 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 No, children. Eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. <laughs> I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> 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 I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone <laughs> has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam! Toast, toast, toast! Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to start the day. The little boat. Peppa and her family are going on a picnic. I love picnics. Me too. The picnic spot is on the other side of the river. Oh, how do we get over there? We take a little boat. You call it by ringing this bell. Hello there! It is Grampy Rabbit in his rowing boat. Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please! <laughs> oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. 
Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off. Thank you, Grumpy Rabbit. Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr. Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr. Pig. Ah, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big fat wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. We've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here. Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. Oh, oh you're right there. Ah, uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> It is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry! <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh. Where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look, Mrs Duck has saved you a worm. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Perfume. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa's house. Pepper is watching Granny Pig at her dressing table. You smell nice, Granny. Thank you, Pepper. It's my perfume de lavender. It smells like your garden. That's because perfume is made of flowers. Hmm, Granny, I've got a very good idea. Really? Yes. First, I need some water. Here's your water. Right. Now I'm going to put flowers in it and make perfume. That's nice, dear. But only pick flowers from the grass, not from the flower bed. OK? OK. <laughs> Hello, flowers. Who wants to be in my perfume? I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume 
ever. <gasps> Lovely. Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <laughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny, smell this. <laughs> what is it? It's my perfume. Oh, yes. It's lovely. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of anything. There must be something you like the smell of. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, George, what have you got there? Have you made some perfume? <laughs> Actually, that smells quite nice. <sighs> it smells lovely. <sighs> I say, that is delightful. What did you put in it, George? <laughs> George's perfume is made out of muddy puddles. <sighs> ah! Perfume the muddy puddle. Whee! <laughs> 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 Granny Pig, you smell even nicer than you did before. Yes. You should use perfume de muddy puddle more often. <laughs> <laughs> fruit. It is fruit day at the supermarket. Look, it's Mr. Potato. Mrs. Carrot. Sweet cranberry and little sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, Apple, orange, banana, banana pear and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry. George loves strawberries. Smoothies. Get your fruit smoothies here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas, 
And more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. Mm, lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot. Yes, a carrot. Hooray! <laughs> Dinosaur juice for everyone. Mm. Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> everyone loves fruit <laughs> and carrots. Pepper's Circus. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the circus! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa, can we see the circus? Circus, Pepper? There's no circus here. Why have you got a big stripy tent then? This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh, what's a garden party? It's where grown ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes, we can call it Pepper's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny, we're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? Of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strong men. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <coughs> wow. What did he do? He sold tickets. Here. You can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. <coughs> Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <coughs> <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But, Peppa, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, 
You be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <coughs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible. The amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feats. <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund on Tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping. It's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah, ah. that was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> Pumpkin competition. Pepper and her friends are at playground. <laughs> oh, it is almost Halloween, children, and we are going to have a pumpkin competition. Ooh. Have you all brought in your pumpkins? Yes. yes. I grew my pumpkin from a seed. My mummy bought my pumpkin from the supermarket. I've got a pumpkin that's made out of plastic. Uh, I haven't got my pumpkin here because Grandpa is still growing it. Fine. Just remember to decorate your pumpkins and bring them back here for the competition tonight. <laughs> there will be prizes for everyone. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to collect Pepper. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Have you got my pumpkin for the competition tonight? Don't worry, Pepper. Your pumpkin is safe and sound in my greenhouse. Is my pumpkin big, Grandpa? Oh, yes. This is Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa! It is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> now we cut out the face. <laughs> And we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> now we put the pumpkin into the car. <laughs> the pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> oh, there. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. Now for step two. We lift it into the car. <laughs> The pumpkin is impossible to lift. I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello, Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service. Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the 
children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to play group. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playgroup. I think we will have to start without Peppa. Aw, it won't be fun without Peppa. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look. What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow. Hello. Sorry we're late. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Am I in time for the pumpkin competition? Yes, of course. The prize for the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Hooray! <laughs> this is the best Halloween ever! Peppa loves Halloween. Everyone loves Halloween. 